Okay, we're good to go. Yeah. All right. So um, we don't have a quorum tonight, so we're just going to go through um, the, the agenda and everybody's going to just kind of touch base. So I guess we should introduce ourselves first. Would that be good? Okay. So I'm Katie Sullivan. I'm the vice chair of the commission. Jesse, do you want to go next? I am Jesse Smith. Uh, I am the website uh, and social media manager. Okay, Jill. I'm Jill Fletcher with Weathersfield Historical Society. I also um, do some work on behalf of the Chamber of Commerce and I handle events and some fundraising and other activities. Good, Peter. I'm Peter Gillespie, town planner. I am the staff person to the uh, Heritage Commission. Amy. I'm Amy Woodorf. I'm executive director of Weathersfield Historical Society. Charlie. Charles Ford, a representative from the Old Weathersfield Shopkeepers Association. And Melinda. Melinda Robito, Circuit Antiques and Collectibles, also representing the Old Weathersfield Shopkeepers Association. Okay, thank you. All right, so we're going to approval of minutes. Did we do we no need form? To... So, oh, yeah. that's right. Okay, that'll skip that. Uh, yeah. So, visitors map and kiosk. So, the only uh, update uh, to that is I did speak with uh, Connecticut Humanities and they um, indicated that we can start uh, accumulating in kind uh, contributions to that project before the grant uh, is uh, actually submitted and uh, applied for. So uh, the plan is to schedule a meeting with the, with the stakeholders and start uh, moving forward with um, uh, putting, putting the grant application together and maybe starting on some of the content for the individual kiosk. So uh, I'll be sending out an email uh, to that effect um, maybe in the next uh, next couple of weeks. So we can have a meeting maybe before the end of the year and then we can work on it in earnest uh, in January. Okay, EV charging stations. I went to the one meeting, but that's all I've really done with it. So I'm, I'm going to talk to the town manager about submitting a request for some funding uh, through next year's capital improvement program. And it right. may not be just for one uh, EV station. Um, I have yet to find a good source of, of funding to do that. Mm -hmm. but, I, but I think if we can, I think there, there will be um, in the near future. So I think if we can position ourselves with at least some matching funds, uh, if the funding sources do come online, we'll be in a good position um, to potentially acquire some additional funding for that. Great. Okay, Heritage Commission membership and appointments. So we're slowly uh, working on that. I did speak with the town manager again about getting this on the um, uh, a future council agenda. Uh, I believe Melinda wants to be uh, appointed as the um, shopkeepers uh, representative. So that would certainly be one of the appointments that we make uh, as well as a, a couple of others that we talked about at the last meeting. So. Um, I do have some other boards and commissions that are also uh, experiencing some vacancies. So uh, mm -hmm. the plan would be to get those all on the agenda at the same time. Okay. Wayfinding signage. Nothing to report on that. Okay. Uh, photo contest. So obviously we met and uh, picked the winners. Uh, Jesse, did you get, did Denise get you the list of the uh, award winners? For you to make an announcement? No? Okay. Um, I will send her an email uh, and hopefully she can get, if you want to, um, I'll, I'll send an email, I'll copy you in. And if you can maybe circle back with her, she'll be in the office tomorrow. I'm not going to be in tomorrow. So if you want to just reach out to her, I'm not sure why she didn't get that to you yet. Okay. All right. Brochure distribution, Hartford Travel Center. Obviously, once again, we don't have a quorum, but I did in your packet uh, include a flyer for what they're calling the Pride Travel Center. This is uh, off of exit 33 Jennings Road uh, off of uh, 91. So this is a new uh, venture, uh, as you can see from the literature. 
Uh, they're going to set up uh, a card rack station as well as an electronic uh, kiosk with a screen. Uh, they've offered uh, us uh, an introductory uh, discount of $150 um, and fifty dollars for the uh, remaining part of the season. Uh, this would allow not just the town, but all of our stakeholder organizations to put their literature in this as well under that price. Uh, so I thought it was a good, a good price. As they say, it's a startup, so I can't really tell you statistically, you know, how many eyeballs are going to be on on this. But um, nevertheless, uh, they want to start this up in um, in January. So maybe what I will do is send out an email to everybody and maybe we can do uh, a vote online. Okay. Uh, you can authorize us uh, doing that. So if that's the case, I will be reaching out to the organizations and trying to get a supply of whatever literature they want to put in the uh, rack card. So that okay. would include Web Dean Stevens, um, Historical Society, um, the Arts Academy, whoever else wants to participate under that umbrella. If the shopkeepers have some literature, um, that promotes the shopkeepers, we would certainly offer that to them as well. Um, and then just see what kind of, uh, what kind of results we get. Okay. Okay. Um, promo video. No report on that. Okay. Uh, town guide and calendar. So we are uh, working on um, trying to finalize that uh, in the next few weeks. Um, so if I know, obviously, with all of the uncertainty of what's going on, uh, people are not able to commit to events. Right. Uh, however, if you want to put those events in a in the calendar, and we'll you know add language that these are obviously tentative, we can certainly do that. And some organizations have indicated to us they would like to do that. So if you have dates, uh, times, and events that you you feel that you want to include in there with an asterisk or whatever, we will be happy uh, to do that. So um, please, uh, if you want, forward that information to us and we will uh, do our best to incorporate it into the, into the calendar and into the town guide. Do you have a deadline for that, Peter? Um, it's obviously one of those uh, ASAPs. Um, yeah, okay. So uh, if, if you can, um, maybe by the end of next week, Okay. Um, that would that would be very helpful. Okay. Uh, certified local government. So Chris and the town manager and myself participated in a, a virtual meeting uh, with the state uh, over this program. Uh, they encouraged us uh, and were quite surprised that Weathersfield is not already a certified local government. Um, just to back up, we've talked about this uh, in the past. Um, it's basically a, a historic preservation uh, certification. Uh, however, it opens us up uh, if we get the certification um, for some additional funding for various projects. Um, so we are awaiting some information back from the state um, so that we can um, get a better handle on the kind of information we have to pull together. Um, and we'll be attempting probably to submit that uh, in the early part of next year. Uh, we'll have to work with the Historic District Commission because they are pr our primary preservation organization. Um, they are, uh, we are required to provide some documentation on how they conduct business, um, some of the qualifications of the members, you know, that kind of, um, that kind of information. But it was in, an encouraging meeting. Good. And um, uh, we're going to do our best to um, submit an application that would qualify us. The ex application also gets referred to the National uh, Park Service. So it, oh. it goes through a federal, federal review as well, um, okay. which we did not know. Um, however, they can turn it around literally um, in, in a couple of months. So, um, so we're going to put that on our agenda uh, for next um next year's uh, action plan. All right. Oh, well, I'm just taking notes. <laughs> um, okay, Christmas in Old Weathersfield. Uh, Melinda, do you want to 
uh, jump in and, and share with the group what the shopkeepers are um, have been talking sure. about and what the latest plan is? Yep. So um, they've changed the name to Holidays in Old Weathersfield to make it a little bit more all-encompassing. Um, and as a part of that, they're doing the Deck Your Doors contest which if I'm not mistaken, it's the third annual Deck Your Doors. So they're inviting residents that live uh, along Main Street and the Broad Street Green to participate. Um, flyers have been distributed and will be distributed um, with, over the next couple of days. Um, residents would need to have their entry forms in by December 1st. And the display runs from December 3rd through January 1st. So that's, that's the first thing I wanted to talk about. Um, and then the, the next item I wanted to talk about is the holidays in Old Weathersfield, which is um, going to include a couple of different things. One, shopkeepers and restaurants uh, as a part of the Old Weathersfield Shopkeepers Association, we'll have extended hours on Thursdays and Fridays. Shops will be open until 8. Restaurants will be opened until 10. Um, participating members will also be offering special uh, promotional um, incentives to have customers come into their stores and restaurants with uh, a passport program that's also being offered to encourage people to visit more than one store or restaurant. So it'll, it'll encourage folks to come to various stores with a bounce back promotion, if you will. So for instance, uh, Circa Antiques and Collectibles, if you come in and buy during the month of December, then you'll be eligible to come back in the month of January and receive 20% off. So there are a number of stores that are um, offering various promotions like that, either 20% off or uh, a free gift. Um, so those are so those are different offerings um, that are going to be taking place. There will be a punch card that will be handed out at the participating stores, so customers can keep their punch card and as they go through and visit each store the card will be punched and then also once all the cards are full then they'll be eligible to win a gift basket um, as well as um, a, a gift card for future purchases at one of the stores of their choosing and in addition to that I know that um, the Historical Society, you're having an outdoor market, if I'm not mistaken, on Thursdays, is that correct? Um, we're having our gift tent, since we can't open the Kini because uh, we're going to have a tent on the lawn and our um, biggest, jolliest volunteer, Mike Monroe, uh, with a selection of gifts from our shop. Excellent, and I know uh, Grange Fresh is going to be offering free cookies and drum drum roll coffee roasters is going to have free samples of coffees as well. Um, so just a, a lot of different things going on just to encourage people to move through and around Old Weathersfield during the holidays uh, in lieu and in recognition that holidays on Maine is not going to be held this year. One thing I did want to mention is that we're I'm in the process of creating a shopkeepers and old Weathersfield shopkeepers association Facebook page. So I have a shell of a Facebook page currently created and we're going to be um, promoting the uh, deck your door contest as well as the um, holidays and old Weathersfield program and the holiday passport via the event page um, that's, that's available on that social media. That's great. Is that the end of your report? That's it. Okay. Melinda, Whoop. Melinda, will you have a flyer or something that um, we could get to Jesse and to um, the town maybe to help further promote um, that? Yes, 
it's my understanding that um, Bryce from the Charles is working out a flyer and or having the um, passport program punch cards created. So those are in the process of being um, okay. paid. Okay. But the late hours, I do I do want to clarify, they're Thursday and Fridays throughout December. So December 3rd, 4th, December 10th and the 11th, and then December 17th and 18th. Okay. Great. And that, uh, excuse me, uh, the restaurants were open till 9, you said? 10. Uh, 10. 10. 10 o'clock. Oh, 10. Sorry. Mm -hmm. And the shops were 8. Right. Okay. Yes, participating shops are going to be open until eight. Perfect. Okay. All right. CCGP projects. We're finishing up the uh, surveying uh, at the various locations in Old Weathersfield for those projects. Um, once the surveying is done, the town engineer will be finalizing the details of that. We will have another community meeting at some point during the winter to. Um, share all of those details in case there's further addi additional public comment on that with the idea of putting them out to bid so that they can be constructed next year. So that's the, um, that's the present status of that. All right. Sorry, it's hard to run a meeting and take notes at this yes, time. Yes, it is, yep. <laughs> okay, um, so nobody from EDIC. No, Judy joined us. She's oh, here. she did. Oh, hi, yep. Judy. Yep. Judy, do you have a report? You know what? I can't find my notes in front of me, but I can remember a couple of things. Okay. Um, <clears throat> the storage <clears throat> facilities, the... Um, uh, planning and zoning finally uh, made an, a, a decision and approved the draft uh, that came out of EDIC. So storage facilities are, not, are the moratorium is done, but um, they will have certain requirements and one of them is mixed use. So wherever their storage facility goes up, there will have to be a mixed use um, portion. Um, the other thing I, I can report is that the Ridge Road apartments and Peter, I can't remember the number, but the ribbon hut cutting is on hold. And uh, maybe you can- 170 Ridge Road. 170 Ridge, okay. It looks great on the outside. Yep. <clears throat> now they're, they're very good. unique apartments inside as well. It's the old uh, CCMC school. Um, so each one is a little bit different than the others. So. And that originally was the school for the blind, the Connecticut State School yeah. for the Blind. Yes. I yep. was just going to um, say that, Judy, if you're of a certain age, you remember it as something yeah, different. Right. It has a significant history in Wethersfield. Yeah. And uh, I don't think there's anything else, Peter, that is a the only other the, the only other big thing is we are doing a, um, a business outreach uh, mailing, um, which we're um, trying to get out the door uh, as soon as we can, maybe next week. Um, to all the businesses in the community uh, for the for a couple of reasons to uh, develop a, a comprehensive business directory, uh, but secondly, to gather uh, email, websites, social media links so that we can share those much more widely and um, have better uh, outreach and communication with the entire business community as to, you know, some people are not chamber members, some people mm -hmm. have their contact information. So we're making a big push uh, there's uh, over a thousand businesses that we'll be sending uh, the mailing out to, and hopefully we'll have a, uh, a, a strong response to that. So that's um, that's a big task. And one other thing, I should have mentioned it when Mel after Melinda's report. Um, the Keen Foundation is doing the luminaria this year, the candles in the bags, and they are going to be sold at Weatherfield Travel as usual. Um, they are going to be $2 this year, and although we bought 2,000 more than we did last year, um, the numbers have been going up every year. I would say buy them early if you want them. Yeah, I think a lot of people are going to want them this year. I think so, too. I think yeah. this is going to be a special, special year. Okay, I'm done. All right. Anything more from the shopkeepers? No, that was it. Thank you. Okay. So, uh, WHS. Jill, 
Amy, anything? Um, we have, uh, of course, we're closed, but we have a lot going on virtually. Our lantern light um, are being released uh, serially, and we have two, uh, and we'll certainly have three up on our website. Oh, great. For all women of Weathersfield, um, spanning 400 years. So um, please don't miss those. Go on and see them. And thanks to um, all of our volunteers who were the actors and Kevin Anderson, who filmed everything. Um, and of course, Gilly Johnson, our educator, who uh, put it all together. Um, one thing we are doing, in addition to our gifts, gift tent for Christmas holidays, usually we do the, the children's holiday trees inside the Keeney and have different organizations decorate these trees. Well, we can't do that. So instead we're doing wreaths um, and we're inviting uh, different organizations to decorate the wreaths. Um, we don't have as many as we had hoped um, because some just couldn't do it because of the pandemic. And I have a few extra reads, um, but we've gotten, I just got them the wreaths, the blank wreaths um, from ShopRite yesterday. And we already have one from Silas Dean Middle School today. And That's it is great. Um, so I'm excited to see what we're going to get. Um, and uh, that's all. Jill, did you have anything? Is Jill still there? She's there. She's mm -hmm. muted. You're I, muted. <laughs> there, I did. Um, no, nothing else. That's, those are the important things. Thank you. Mm -hmm. okay. Amy, a question. How are they going to be displayed? We're going to display them on the porch of the Herbert Dunham house on those. Oh, great outside of those French doors or on the railing of the Bikini Center and or like any of those places. So people can walk around and That's enjoy. great. Okay, I'll be next in a second. And thanks to ShopRite of East Manchester for donating the reads. Oh, that was nice. That's great. All right. Well, I guess that means me now. Um, it's been a very exciting week at the museum. Web Dean Stevens, because we all moved into our new offices. So that was the first exciting thing. And the second exciting thing is that our new director started on Monday. So Joshua Campbell Torres, and he's so far so good. Everything's great. He's got a lot of great ideas. And we're really looking forward to seeing, you know, what, what he's going to bring to the museum. But other than that, we're closed right now. Um, we're trying to get all of our phone lines up and our email working and get the shop all ready. So that's where we're at right now. Um, I had a question. Mm -hmm. Are you gonna have the, are you gonna have the outside um, decorated? Yes, we're gonna decorate the outside, but obviously we're not doing our usual. We're, we are gonna decorate the shop, but not the houses. Right. Okay. All right, and that leads us to you, Jesse. So actually, um, I don't have really much to report. Everyone pretty much answered everything that I needed. Um, Melinda, that was uh, some good stuff. Uh, thank you for all that. I was, I had major questions with the door uh, decorating, but everything was answered. Um, let's see here. Oh, I will be, actually I think it was tomorrow, Wednesday. I will be going to uh, the Silas Robbins house uh, to, they, they were gonna let me get a tour and like go inside and get some pictures and stuff like that. So I thought I could use that for social media. Yeah, that'd be great. Stuff like that. Hopefully, I don't know if they decorated. Um, Cause if not, I might ask to come back <laughs> yeah. just to see the in, just to see it all inside decorated and, and come back right. to take pictures. So I don't know. Um, I, I think that's about, about it. Okay. Correspondence, Peter, do we have correspondence? No, nothing, okay. nothing um, to report. We may have, let me just see who's here now. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have a quorum now, so we can go back okay. uh, to the minutes. And if you also wanna talk about the um, travel center, um, since we've got everybody now, we've got six anyway. Okay. So, um, 
we does anyone want to make a motion to approve the minutes as everyone's busy reading them <laughs> so moved okay do i have a second second uh, second okay all in favor of the minutes as written aye 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 opposed abstentions okay how was that okay That's good. Now, now we want to go back to where is it the distribution brochure distribution yeah hartford hartford travel center yeah. um does anyone have any questions uh questions on that so just to, just to summarize there is a there will be an electronic uh, or digital uh, presentation opportunity on their large video screen. There's a uh, display rack for brochures, uh, flyers, et cetera. So uh, any of our uh, partner organizations would have an opportunity to supply that. And they're gonna put a book together um, that people can look through. Some people still prefer the hands-on approach. So they're gonna design uh, a page or two uh, for Weathersfield so, so that we can promote the various, uh, they will design that as well based on our input. So as I said earlier, it's a, it's a uh, $150 total for, for a four month period of time. Okay, and that, and all of us can submit no. brochures. Yes. I don't think it's 150 each time. If I'm reading it correctly, it's only 150 the first time. And after that, it's just 100. Yeah, I think you may be right. He was, um, he was, because since it's so new, he was still trying to figure out some of the details. So um, I, I think you're, you're probably right. The way it's written as I look at the bottom of the page now. Right. I, mean, I don't think he's gonna, and I don't think he's gonna be able to start December one, but uh, it may not, it may not start until the new year. I think it's a reasonable price, you know, it's to, to try it out. The, the yeah. problem is we're trying it out at a time when nobody's open. Right. So I don't. It'd be nice if it went January, February, March, April, May, June, July, right. August, September, because then we wouldn't do four. We'd only do three. Right. Yeah, maybe a good, um, a good trial run, see what the see if we can uh, document the response. Uh, they will provide us with statistics uh, they indicated going forward. So at least maybe we'll get an idea of how, um, how busy it actually is. So the only thing is we're, again, we're, we're going out there with brochures and everything and nobody's open. Right. And there's no way to like jump into the second quarter, I suppose. Uh, we certainly could. I think they're discounting this because they know, you know, what's going on in the environment. And okay. um, so, yeah, yeah. This travel center is a physical site, right? Yes, so it's, a, uh, it's a it's a fueling, uh, a fueling station, um, a convenience store. They have, I, I believe, a dozen electric vehicle charging stations, which oh, is very ooh. unusual. So they, they're offering some things that a lot of other places uh, aren't able wow. to do. So and it took them a long it, time. Where is it, Peter? Where exactly? Right, it's right off of Jennings Road, exit 33 in Hartford. Oh, you can see it from the-, the best neighborhood. <laughs> yeah. No, it's a, it's, it's a get off, you keep on traveling kind of kind of a stop. You know, it's not a neighborhood location. Okay. It's, it's a, so it is a travel enough. center. So for fueling okay. trucks, as well as, uh, as well as visitors to the area. I, I think we should try it, but I think that yeah. right now there aren't many people that are off for a Sunday drive, you know? Right. So um, it, I think we have to just take it, uh, you know, just get it out there and then renew it during better times. Right. right. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right, do um, I have a motion? Because... Are you making a motion, Judy? I am. I'm okay. saying that we, should, we should do it. Okay, and Carol second? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstentions? Okay. Okay. All right. So I think we've done. Are we? Is that everything? Yeah. Once there's anything else anyone wants to talk about, our next meeting. New business uh, or anything? 
is back is not until January 26th. We don't do the uh, December meeting because of the holidays. Right. I apologize for being late. Yeah. Um, Peter, do you know when the the holiday lights are going to go on the tree? Oh, they're on I, the tree. Already. They're on the tree. They're on, yeah. but but are they going to be turned on? I, I uh, they're not doing a they're not doing a ceremony right so to speak this year because they obviously don't want to generate a crowd but I can assure you it will be lit um, on or about December third okay so I have a comment Peter yes mm -hmm. um as probably a lot of people have been doing during their confinement here <laughs> cleaning out a lot of things and I came across a booklet that was made quite a while ago about the trees in Wethersfield. Oh, right. Like mm -hmm. a walking tour. It's a yep. beautiful little book. And I I think it was made for some occasion, but- um, It's not the Broad Street Green- worth, um, Pardon is me? It the, is it the Broad Street, Broad Street Green map with all the trees or is it something different? No, it was a thick booklet for kids. Okay. To And it, it took them on a tour like through Wethersfield. So- I've never seen it. Field. And I thought that maybe it might be something to look at again with yeah. our push on tourism and bringing people into Weathersfield. Sure, I mean, great idea. At some of the small markets or stores in Weathersfield, and and in the nice weather, just take a walk and wouldn't cost them anything. Yeah. We just yeah, need so. to make sure the trees that are in the book are still there, so we right. may need to update it. Right. <laughs> yeah, we'll they may have been to. pre tornado. It would have to be, uh, you know. Reworked, updated sure. just tear um, out that page <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah but do you know uh, who, do you know who produced it does it say in the book i was looking at my crowded desk here wait a minute hold on a second why don't you show us your desk so we can feel good <laughs> <laughs> here we go i found it heritage huntathon weathersfield and this little Little quizzes. It's a nice size little booklet. Okay. Um, Does it say who produced it? Historical Phil Loman and. Oh. Um, I was gonna say. I'll bet Phil had something to do with it. Oh yeah. I don't see any. Um, Elaine Ogren Speranza was sorry oh. to I think putting this together. Well, she's still around. Yeah. So we. It's a program book. All you need is the book and a pencil, a person to read aloud as you move through the uh, through the mapped route. And, uh, you know, it takes them by the Webb house, the Stevens house. Um, the doll shop, of course, is gone. Um, but, you know- That old? To revisit, yeah. I really do. Okay. If you, if you, if you want to let me borrow it, I can take a look and see if it's something that we can maybe yeah. resurrect or make a project out of it. Yeah, yep. that sounds great. Um, I can I can mail it. I'll make a copy in case it gets lost in the mail. Okay. Mail it to you. That'd be great. Okay. Do that I have? Might to be a good project for the high school. Yeah. Excellent. Amy, does the historical society offer any kind of uh, nature or tree uh, tours as part of your packages? Oh. No, we don't. Um, we do have that. Uh, Guide to the Broad Street Green with the trees. Right. That spills. I suggest that we look at making it virtual. Yeah. Um, Good idea. There were, um, you know, advertisements for people who, for businesses that, you know, help support it. Okay. We have new businesses in town, so that will have to be addressed. <laughs> yeah. You know that would offset some of the cost. Right. Okay. Okay. Sounds, uh, like, sounds like a good I project. Put anything? Do I just put Weathersfield Town Hall and your? Just put ten, my with attention, Peter Glusby. It'll get okay. to Yep. They all know who he is. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We'll send it out. Great. Thank you. All right. Any other new business? All right. I guess we're adjourned. Okay. Make a nice Thanksgiving. Yes. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Yeah, happy Thanksgiving. Thank you. Happy Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. We'll see you in January. Bye now. Bye bye. Bye bye. Stay healthy, everyone. You too. Yes.